For me, science is the art of understanding truth and beauty. The art of understanding truth and beauty. What can be more fantastic than that? And the thing about it is that we can all do science. Now, when I was a kid, I used to think it's people with beards and spectacles and white coats. They, they were scientists uh, and they were always a little bit eccentric. Um, but now we can all do science. And in fact, it's not that we can, it's that we should and we must do it. Because our planet has reached a critical point where our only chance of preserving what remains of it and our ability to live on it comes down to us better understanding it. If we don't understand it, we'll never be able to fix it. Now, there are any number of people out there who are paid to get up in the morning and go out and do science. They're paid up scientists and they research all sorts of different things from physics to chemistry to biology. The trouble is, there's simply not enough of them to do all of the work as quickly as it needs to be done. And that's why, particularly within the field of natural history, we are hugely dependent upon volunteers. And within the UK, all of our non-government organisations, all of our charities, are entirely dependent on an army of volunteers. And these volunteers are very often experts. They might not be paid, but they have an enormous expertise. So for instance, in the UK, the British Trust for Ornithology regularly surveys the countryside. It gets people to go out and count birds and mammals. And they do it in a way which is formulated, so they're doing it in the same way, so all the data can be compared. Now, I don't know what the staff of the BTO is at the moment. You know, it would run into tens, maybe it makes it into the hundreds, but we need thousands of people to do that to gather all of that data. And I'm very pleased to say that in the UK, we have a better understanding of all of our species and their increases and decreases and their distribution than in any other country in the world. And that's down to the expertise of volunteers. So where do you come in? Well, you need to start volunteering. You need to get involved in what we call citizen science. You need to focus upon one thing, be able to take instruction, understand what you've got to do, and stick to a framework so you're doing it as the same as everyone else. And then you can pull all of your data and someone will analyze it all and you would have contributed to a greater understanding of the natural world. Just by spending a couple of hours here, a couple of hours there, maybe in your garden, maybe in your school, maybe in your place of work, it really doesn't matter. But what does matter is that we all have the capacity to do that and it's generating really important knowledge. Let's not underestimate this. Just because you're asked to do simple things doesn't mean that they can't produce remarkable results. And in fact, some of the most exciting things we're learning now are being done by citizen scientists, and that's you. So please join us and help us understand, better understand this place and therefore be better place to look after it. We need your help.